You know, one of the strangest moments in NHL history involved a vaunted enforcer, protector for the Buffalo Sabres who decided uh, to protect his fellow players by not an opposing player, but somebody that came on the ice illegally. Today we're going to be talking about one of the weirdest moments in NHL history, and some people actually wanted this player either suspended or charged for what he did. Of course, we're going to be talking about the Rob Ray incident. Now, standing in front of Rob Ray was a daunting task for everyone, according to the Hockey News. But on April 29, 92, a fan had the chance to experience what some of the game's <coughs> Buffalo Sabre game at the uh, at the Colisée in Quebec City, a fan who probably had more trains and brains jumped over the glass and into the Sabres bench or in front of it. That proved to be one of the biggest mistakes any spectator could make. According to hockey news, the man would be hit for over a dozen punches game he was playing with Buffalo and Scorglin said yeah you gotta you gotta salute that guy you know took 15 hard, hard ones so he's stuck in there so if you look on the video of YouTube literally you can count the punches the guy was basically turtling uh, somebody else was holding uh, the uh, the as well the assailant as we call and Rob was giving about 15 punches now, the Sabres enforcer would eventually escape criminal charges but the most impressive aspect of the whole ordeal was that again the fan amazingly stood upright for the full barrage of right hands from the man known as Razor. Now, there was some talk in the Quebec media that uh, Rob Ray, uh, what he called, got too excited, he overreacted, and he shouldn't have been suspended because you shouldn't have a player attacking a fan. Well, here's the deal, ladies and gentlemen. If the fan is not supposed to go on the ice, and the fan is going towards the, the Sabres bench, who knows? He could have had a knife, could have had a gun. Rob Ray uh, was the defender of his team and his teammates. He saw that guy come come into his area, and he was going to get it. Now, the the incident where the buff uh, the the player the fan went on the Boston Bruins rink and won the linesman game uh, a cold cock in the ice. Uh, fans should not interact with the players as a no no in hockey. Now we know that the Boston Bruins went up into the uh, the crowd at Maple Leaf, uh, not Maple Leaf Gardens, maybe at Madison Square Garden a few years previously. And uh, I talked to some of the perpetrators of the event. I'm not going to say who, but one of them told me uh, in, a, uh, in an interview I did for him for my paper in New Brunswick that I shouldn't have done it. Now, we have, uh, we have not known what happened to that fan. We don't know how much the bet was. We don't know exactly why he thought nothing was going to happen. You see in football where they run around the field and the, the yellow security vested uh, uh, you know, uh, guards uh, will take him down. But you get on the ice, a bunch of NHL hard-nosed hockey players, especially Buffalo, because that year Buffalo uh, was a Stanley Cup contender. They played... Uh, a very good season in 83, lost to a, a very tough series to Montreal in the quarterfinals. Uh, Buffalo has always been known for uh, tenacity. So, ladies and gentlemen, the, uh, the whole incident is on YouTube and also the reaction to it. But when they had a Colin show, I think two days later in French, in Quebec City, saying that Ray should be charged, one guy had called up and he was in English. And he said in English, what is he supposed to do? He got, that guy ran into the ice. What is he going to supposed to do? Give him an autograph? And he was cut off off the, uh, the air. But anyway, uh, I don't think the NHL was going to bring the weight down of their executives against Rob Ray because literally, if he would have been suspended, that would have been the biggest NHL PA lawsuit ever. So against Rob Ray 1, errant fan 0. Uh, Rob Ray's off-ice record as a boxer still remains undefeated. And if you want to learn something about uh, how Rob Ray was dedicated to uh, NHL hockey, there's many uh, podcasts he's done, many interviews. He's one of the most dedicated players and uh, in retirement, one of the most dedicated Sabres of all time. He has my great respect because Rob Ray always, always, always supported the Sabres and their legacy.
Thanks for listening. Bye.